Greetings, and welcome to another video from oduclass.com. In this video, we're going to look at how we can extend Odoo's accounting functionality that comes with Odoo out of the box. And specifically, what we're going to be looking at is how we can report across various units uh, that might be within a, a larger company. So, for example, out of the box, you get a standard um, balance sheet and profit loss statement. But what if you wanted to look at, say, uh, your operations by territory, say, East Coast, West Coast, uh, you know, Midwest, or that kind of thing, or, or perhaps internationally, where you might have a United States operation and then have a, a European operation. Now, in, we looked at how you could accomplish some of this functionality in uh, m using multiple companies. So multiple companies is one way to go in which you can have different uh, accounting reports for each each of your um, uh, of your different units. But uh, this way uses uh, an add-on from OCA that allows uh, Odoo to report across multiple operating units. And so for our example, we're going to uh, use uh, that maybe you'd have would have different shops in different territories or maybe you'd have uh, for different product lines. You'd like to be able to look at your profit and loss and your and your various accounts across different uh, profit centers. So we're going to take that as an example. And what you're going to need to do uh, if you if you are going to do these uh, uh, types of operations is you're going to want to go here to the OCA uh, page here under GitHub OCA operating unit. And uh, so here's the uh, the the URL you need to go to. And so you can see here that each of these is a different uh, module in Odoo that's going to extend the appropriate application with this functionality. For example, if you are not doing anything with inventory and you just need to look at operating units, say by sales, you wouldn't necessarily need to install this stock operating unit here, uh, for example, because uh, that application is only going to be used uh, for, you know, for inventory. And the same goes with the purchasing operating unit. If you don't use the purchasing application, you won't need to uh, look at your purchases by operating unit. So uh, we're going to assume you know how to install um, add-ons in Odoo. If, if you don't, we have uh, you know, plenty of videos uh, that show you how to install Odoo and how to configure the add-ons path uh, to uh, point to your, to your add-ons. So um, once you've installed the add-ons and booted up your server, you'll create a new database. So we're going to go ahead and create a new database here. Oops close my screen there but we're going to create one it's going to be called operational units and once the database is up and running we're going to need to just install a few things uh, in order to make this work. So let's install accounting and finance because obviously if we're doing anything with these operational units we want to make sure uh, that we can look at our reports and see them uh, broken down across uh, across different units. So, um, for our example, what we're gonna we're gonna do is we're gonna break uh, our products down. We're gonna do a, a almost like a, a an, an idea of profit centers. So, you know, you might have a, a very large company, for example, say like Amazon, and they have uh, you know multi facets, and one of them is their Amazon Web Services. And, uh, for example, is one of, you know a huge uh, part of their company. They also have a um, you know books. They also have their merchandise they sell, and so forth. So they would probably you know want to look at those operating units, uh, you know, uh, uh, independent of each other. So and that's that's you know obviously on a smaller scale that's what we're going to be kind of looking at. So. We now we have our basic accounting installed, and we haven't installed any of the special uh, operating unit stuff from here. So let's go ahead and install the very basics of that. So if I go here under searching and, and type in operating, we can see here that we have um, here accounting with operating units right here. And so we're going to go ahead and install that.
and that's going to change the stock accounting just slightly so let's go here to invoices and create a new invoice and you'll notice here under other info now we have operating unit and main operating unit is the one that it gave us by default so let's create Acme products as our sample customer and in our product line let's say service let's say ISP service and save that well let's make it we'll go ahead and open this up and I'm just showing you here that there's nothing here in sales that has anything to do with telling it uh, what operating unit to use because we haven't installed that we just installed it for the um, and I was going to change the price here just so we have well something different we'll just make that 12 bucks so, so it'll be there for us next time and so what this means is that we can assign any invoice now to a fiscal or to an operating unit here uh, of our choice. So here under accounting, let's see. Do, 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 where is it there? Thought they would let us have access to our operating units here. Okay, let's go ahead and shift refresh. Make sure we got all of our menus. Okay, so they put the operating unit sections over here under settings. And here's your operating units. And you can see that right now we just have main operating unit. So we're going to say name services operating unit. We'll call this SU01 or something like that. And notice how you can uh, actually assign it to a, a particular partner or company. So we'll say my company. I think that's the, what they had the other one on. So you can see there that you can associate them with the company. The idea here is to have different operating units. So we have a service operating unit and a main operating unit. So that means that when we come here to our invoices, we can come in here now and obviously assign this invoice to the service operating unit. So now if I save this and we go ahead and validate this invoice and now that it's open and it's actually in our chart of accounts we should be able to bring up our journal entries here we can see our thirteen dollars and eighty cents that's been posted here and that it went to this operating unit now this so this is getting extended with that add-on it makes it real handy now that you can see exactly where that goes more importantly if we come down here to our PDF reports and do a profit loss statement you down here have now an operating units tab where you can come in here and say add for example which operating units you want on this statement so if we want to see just the service operating units we can select select here and print and we'll see here in our report that it's going to limit limit those those transactions to the service operating unit. And here it is right here. Service operating unit and there's the sales, the profit and loss for that. We do have another video uh, on how to do uh, profit and loss and uh, job costing and and costing in, in your in your center so that's our already been covered in another video this is really showing you how you can uh, make your profit and loss statements so that they can be divided up by operating units 
So now um, let's jump quickly here to our um, other options here and we'll see how we can do do it a little bit differently because that would be kind of a little cumbersome to have to do it for every invoice to go into your invoices and, you, and um, you'll see that here you can do operating units from your purchase order or from your sales so um, let's go ahead and do a operating unit in sales so you can see how that would work and so this is basically just pushing it a little bit f further because right here we just did customer invoices now this is going to show and demonstrate how you can do this at, at the sales level and uh, so this would be useful if you had customers in different regions for example uh, the midwest region or the north region or the southern region and maybe you have you want to look at the different units divided up that way um, you can now come in here under sales and sales orders create and under other information you'll see that we have this same thing here for service operating units and now when we uh, confirm the sale and create the invoice with a little bit of luck it's gonna pull that through for us and it did so now from the sales side you could assign operating units uh, uh, that way as well and if we look here if uh, on our customer tabs that um, there's nothing here that I've seen that, that ties it to a specific customer with what was just installed there. So let's go back. And we'll look at another few of the options here that we can do. So um, stock with operating units, and then it says operating unit in sales stock. Okay, so um, we can see that there's other options here, but particularly what we want to look at here that this one's going to let us assign an operating unit to warehouse um, and to stock locations so when we install this this is going to um, have a requirement of obviously that we have invoicing I'm sorry uh, inventory stock module uh, the inv inventory control module is going to get installed and, and then also uh, you know we've already got the sales uh, installed as well so with this we're going to see how by assigning uh, different warehouses that the it's going to automatically uh, let you let you see those transactions in inventory that way so let's go down here to uh, under inventory and settings and one of the things is that we at this point have not um, done anything uh, with with uh, multiple warehouses man it's several well houses each one composed by several stock locations so this is what we want to have on so that we can have multiple warehouses if you don't have multiple warehouses you can't be a hell have obviously different operating units in in each warehouse so let's apply that And you'll see that now we have warehouse management and warehouses. And you'll see here our operating units. So let's ha create another one for uh, service provisions. And that'll be our SIR warehouse. And we assign that to our services operating unit. So now, obviously, what we're doing here is we're making it so that these warehouses can have their transaction their valuation and, and and so forth by by these operating units um, so I think that, that you can see the power in this that what it's going to allow you to do um, in terms of configuring uh, more complex reporting 
operations, you know, for, for Odoo. Uh, previously, without these operating units, uh, your accounting reports here were really either limited to going with just one profit loss statement or, you know, one balance sheet um, versus, and, you know, and, and even in your journal entries and so forth, not having them designated by any anything uh, operationally. They're all just uh, posted to one company. Or you had the you would have to do multiple companies, which uh, incurs a lot more overhead and complexity in uh, in areas that you might not need. So what this uh, really does with these operating units is let you devise a system in which you can decide at what in what applications you need that that granularity in which transactions can be posted to to. Uh, a, a given operating unit and then they have as we've seen inside of our accounting system here uh, created a, a way where uh, when you when you do these statements that it, it allows you to specify which operating units uh, you wish uh, to report on allowing you to print uh, you know different profit and different uh, different profit and loss statements uh, depending upon uh, various units you get to define yourself uh, within the requirements of your own business. So with that said, uh, that finishes this up. I hope that's helpful uh, for people that uh, you know really need this functionality. This can be a, a big a, a big step towards uh, giving them more flexibility in, in the accounting side uh, of things. And of course, since it is posting to the to the to the ledgers uh, and transactions, uh, it, it's also going to allow you to, if you if need be, create uh, additional reports uh, that may allow you to look at, at the transactions in in a way that's beneficial to your company. So, thanks for watching.